Hi, I'm Stuart, and welcome to the Triumph Factory Visitor Experience. Here we are with the Daytona exhibit. We've got a temporary exhibit here at the Experience, and we're going to start right up to date and work ourselves backwards in time. So here we have the Moto2 765 Limited Edition Daytona. Absolutely glorious bike, and this is the closest you're going to get to a Moto2 Moto bike for the road. So, moving along. 675 Daytona has been completely iconic for us. This is the last 675 Daytona that was built here in the factory in 2018. Going a little further along, we've got the Moto2 Mule Bike. Now this was a development bike that we built. We built two of these to develop the Moto2 engines. This was all about testing the engines rather than testing the chassis, but they really did equip themselves really well. Um, bikes were very quick and really showed that we had a very, very strong engine for Moto2. This is the Daytona 675R, uh, Peter Hickman's bike from 2015. Um, absolutely brilliant. We've got a load of 675s race bikes here for you to see, all with a pedigree. 2014, um, this was uh, Danny Eslick's bike that he won the Daytona 200 and more of the Daytona 200 in a minute, but an absolutely iconic bike. First of Glenn Richards bikes here, a championship winning bike. And if we go around the corner, we get to the second or actually as we're going back in time, this is the first of uh, Glenn Richards championship winning bikes again from 2008. Now this is an early, early generation 675 Daytona. Now this is street bike, but it's the bike that of course all these race bikes are based on. Um, glorious bike, really phenomenal on the road, um, competed really well with all of our competition at the time, both on the road and on the track. Previous generation for us, um, Hinkley 600 uh, four-cylinder Daytona. Again, very uh, successful. This bike was campaigned by Bruce Anstey. And moving back one more generation to the very first generation of Hinkley Daytonas. So this was the last of those, uh, the Super 3. Now this was a 900cc Daytona with more power, um, more performance, and a really nice bike, great in its day. Back to the first, uh, or the last, of the Meriden uh, Daytona 500s. This is from 1974, um, and this was the last production Daytona. Now pretty well going to the first production Daytona. This bike was actually built for Percy Tate for the TT, 1967. Um, Gary Nixon also won the Daytona 200 this year, so this was absolute heyday of this uh, era of uh, Triumph Daytona. Now, lastly, and really absolutely not least, this is not a Daytona, but it's the bike that gave the name to these other bikes. This was built for Buddy Elmore. This was the Daytona winning bike from 1966, um, but he started 46th on the grid and won the race. Absolutely iconic race, possibly one of the best races, certainly the best race that Daytona had seen. Absolutely phenomenal and it started this whole uh, naming line for our bikes. So that's a quick whip round the Daytona story. Uh, it's wonderful to have this temporary exhibit here. We're going to keep it for a while, so hopefully, once we're all out of lockdown, you can come and see it for yourself. Now, watch out for more films we're doing. Um, we'll try and do some more today. Thank you for watching, and be safe.